بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح علی صدری و اسیر علی امری والو الاغدت امی لسانی افقہ بکولی اسلام علیکم لٹل کیڈز دس از شیروز عبداللہ اینڈ ٹوڈی وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس پروپرٹیز آف ویوز وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس سم آف دا پروپرٹیز آف ویوز بٹ بفور گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک سٹارٹ فردر وی شوڈ ری کھول دا پریویس لیکچر یسٹرڈی دیٹ وی ہاف دان ایٹ واز Uh, uh, we, we have done yesterday some wave uh, character some characteristic wave parameters now okay uh, in the in those characters characteristic wave parameters we have discussed the uh, uh, frequency we have discussed time period we have discussed wavelength we have discussed the uh, relationship between frequency wavelength speed we have discussed amplitude and all these things we have already discussed there okay uh, now we are going to discuss properties of waves you know there are different properties like uh, reflection of waves refraction of waves diffraction of waves uh, these all properties we study by using ripple tank okay before going further uh, to these topics these uh, uh, topics these wave properties so we first need to understand what is ripple tank okay so we discuss it like that ripple tank is uh, a kind of a instrument which is used to demonstrate the waves ripple tank is a kind of a instrument which is used to demonstrate the waves which is used to show the waves okay the instrument used to demonstrate the waves called ripple tank okay now what is ripple tank structure or shape let's discuss ripple tank is a triangular shape thing like this okay it's triangular shape like this it has feeds like that like tabular shape okay it has a glass base okay it has a glass base over here this is glass base okay now we have placed a light source over here this is what light source this is what glass base okay and these edges are slight up these edges are slight up like they are slight uh, inward like that okay now what we do we place a kind of a white cloth we place a kind of a white we can place anything to just demonstrate it so we if, if we have a screen uh, so you can also place it but let's uh, we have we, we, we use it any screen screen or white cloth which also works as a screen okay now what we do we pour water over here we pour water over here we put water over here on the uh, uh, white uh, uh, on this glass base now there are two vibrators like this we have placed two vibrators over there and that is connected to a uh, battery right these are vibrators okay when it vibrates what happens over there they generates waves inside this uh, glass base because water is inside there that works as a medium when this when these two vibrators starts moving when it moves so there generates waves over here now we can demonstrate the waves over here the generated waves image comes over here on the screen for example for example 
there it generates waves like this okay the same image is forming over here done so this is how we do with ripple tank done ho gaya okay fine now different properties uh, of waves like reflection of waves refraction of waves diffraction of waves all these we can demonstrate by using these ripple tank let's discuss one by one okay the first is reflection of waves you know the basic physics behind reflection of waves is that uh, the bouncing back of waves after striking to a certain media that is known as reflection of waves so how can we say that the process in which waves rebounces back after striking a certain media or upright barrier okay so this is what we call a reflection of waves okay bouncing bouncing back of waves after striking through a certain media called reflection of waves okay now uh, the question is that how can we observe reflection of waves in ripple tank okay a uh, reflection of waves can be very easily uh, uh, observed in ripple tank by using a straight barrier for example for example we have placed a kind of a barrier over here like this this is what this is a upright barrier like this okay we have placed a upright barrier over here for example this is what upright barrier okay now what these waves will do they will strike with it and after striking they will be rebounced back and you will get an image over here like this okay so we have discussed reflection of waves like waves will come over here it will strike with this rigid uh, uh, upright barrier and it will be reflected and this that image will be observed on the screen is it clear till here okay next we have a uh, refraction of waves you know a uh, refraction of waves is quite simple when waves enter from one medium to another medium what they do when waves enter from one medium to another medium they actually change their original path the bending of waves when it enters from one medium to another medium the change in original path is known as refraction of waves what refraction of waves is that phenomena that thing what happens in that when waves enter from one medium to another medium but the waves changes their original path this changing this deviation from the original path this bending from the original path known as refraction of waves okay so we can say that the deviation from the original path of waves when entering from one medium to another called refraction of waves okay we call it what we call it refraction of waves done ho gaya yahan tak okay now the question is how we can observe refraction in ripple tank we can observe refraction of waves in ripple tank by placing a thin plastic sheet do remember what this is mcq uh, we can place uh, a thin plastic sheet to observe refraction in what in where ripple tank in ripple tank we use a uh, thin plastic sheet at the glass base so that we can observe a uh, reflection a refraction of waves done ho gaya okay uh, yaad rakhein ke when waves enter uh, from one medium to another medium what happens over there 
actually speed changes look what what thing changes speed changes speed of wave changes so automatically what will change lambda will change wavelength wavelength will change done okay yahan tak okay now we discuss two things when a wave enter from shallow med uh, shallower medium to a deeper medium or from deeper to shallower uh, end of the pool so what kind of changes we can observe look see this is look this is we have for example a pool right this is deeper end and this is shallower end and this is pool right okay we are discussing waves entering from a shallower end to a deeper end waves entering from a shallower end of a pool to deeper end and we are observing changes look the waves are coming like this okay done when it enters into another medium like this was the first medium this was the second medium when it enters into the another medium according to the rules the way should follow this original path but it actually does not follow that original path what it do it slightly changes from the original path it slightly changes from the original path like this okay this change in original path is known as refraction of waves right <clears throat> okay now what is shallower end do remember one thing shallower end is that end in which uh, there is a high resistance right resist here we will be less so automatically lambda will be what lambda will be also less okay now in deeper end what happens resistance is high resistance is high so automatically we know that we directly proportional to lambda so automatically we will be greater over here when we will be greater automatically what will happen over here the lambda will be also greater is it clear till here so this was all about that done ho gaya any problem no problem at all okay now we are going to discuss diffraction of waves right let me raise this first portion okay now we are going to discuss third part that is diffraction of waves you know diffraction of waves is that phenomena in which waves enter to a portion in a to through a narrow slit right after entering what they do they bend around the edges of the obstacle like the bending of the waves around the edges of the obstacle when it is entering when it is passed by so this is what we call diffraction of waves diffraction is what that phenomena in which the waves are passing through a obstacle like a hole in the obstacle after entering they actually bend around the uh, edges this bending is known as what diffraction of waves like how look the bending of the waves around the edges of an obstacle car diffraction of waves look 
say say we have a uh, we have this type of obstacle the waves are passing like this and when they pass they they do what they bend around the, they bend around the edges of the obstacle when they bend around the edges of the obstacle this is known as what diffraction of waves look look in this case the this obstacle opening was very comparatively to the waves like the opening distance was very comparable to that of waves uh, wavelength and uh, wave size so there was a, a maximum diffraction maximum diffraction now look one thing one thing else if the opening is very large if the opening is very large compared to the waves okay look the opening is very large right the opening is very large compared to the wave size what will happen the waves will bend at the edges like this means the central portion of the waves will be unchanged this central there will be minimum diffraction right what will be there minimum minimum diffraction right so do remember one thing this central region will remain unchanged okay so this was all uh, the theory related to uh, reflection of waves refraction of waves and uh, diffraction of waves right we have uh, discussed uh, properties of waves let me summarize the topic we have discussed properties of waves right in the first case we have discussed uh, uh, reflection of waves then we discussed refraction of waves then we discussed refraction of waves these three were the properties we have discussed and uh, to understand all those properties we use actually ripple tank so uh, to understand ripple tank the uh, structure the diagram and all the things related to it we have discussed in very detail hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching uh, allah hafiz sudaipaman